Ivanka Trump is not commenting after China issued new trademarks for her fashion brand. The president's daughter led a conference call with reporters Tuesday. During the call, reporters asked about her business trademarks in China, but White House aides declined to answer. Online records show the Chinese government awarded Ivanka Trump's brand seven new trademarks. The news comes just days after President Trump told Congress the administration had reached a deal with China to revive telecom giant ZTE. Critics say the timing of the move and the trademarks raise questions about potential ethical violations. CBS News White House reporter Jacqueline Alemany was on the call and joins me now from Washington. All right, so Jackie, tell us more about this call led by Ivanka Trump. Hey, Elaine. So uh, White House reporters had a background briefing today with Ivanka Trump in advance of the White House Fitness Day, uh, which President Trump is expected to speak at tomorrow. Ivanka made an on-the-record opening statement, and, uh, you know, White House reporters get very little face time with Ivanka Trump, very few opportunities to ask her questions. So the first question, um, an NBC reporter took advantage of the opportunity and asked her a question um, about this suspicious timing of uh, her fashion company getting uh, seven new trademarks awarded to her by the Chinese government. Um, yeah, a White House official quickly stepped in and replied that uh, reporters needed to reach out to the White House press office in order to get an answer. Uh, a reporter then followed up with a different question, another off-topic question for Ivanka Trump. Um, and uh, the White House official quickly revealed that Ivanka had dropped off the call. She had another um, meeting uh, to attend to. Mm. Um, so she was not down to, you know, play ball with White House reporters on uh, answering any of these questions. Interesting. Well, Jackie, what do we know about the timing of these trademarks? Yeah, so the timing here, as you pointed out, is a bit suspicious or potentially co coincidental. Um, seven days prior to President Trump coming out and saying that he was going to allow telecommunications companies, ETE, do business in the U.S., the Chinese government awarded uh, Ivanka Trump um, seven new trademarks to cash in on her name, Ivanka Trump. Now, uh, Ivanka Trump's company, her fashion company, has argued that this is, you know, her company— um, throughout the year constantly puts in new requests for uh, new trademark requests in order to protect her name due to uh, increased um, interest in uh, the Ivanka Trump name. Um, but, you know, uh, again, this timing is uh, awkward as the president um, came out really against his administration's stance of preventing ZTE from doing business in the U.S. after they violated sanctions uh, against North Korea and Iran. Um, but at the same time, you know, ethical experts say it's going to be difficult to prove that there was some sort of direct connection here. But I think what this is really emblematic of is the broader, potentially troubling um, pattern here, which is that foreign governments believe that if they do favors for the president's children that serve the president's business interests outside of the government that it'll do, uh, it, it'll serve their foreign interests. Uh, and, and this is a pattern that we've seen time and time again um, when it comes to dealing with the Trump administration. Well, Jackie, given the fact that Ivanka Trump did not stay on the call that you and other reporters were on, would you expect Ivanka Trump to comment on this matter in the coming days? I'm not sure. We'll get a little more face time with her tomorrow, but she has steered clear of the press as to the best of her ability, um, at least not uh, in situations that aren't, you know, uh, staged interviews. Um, but the White House has uh, so far not responded to our comment. All right. Uh, White House reporter Jackie Alamany continuing to ask those questions along with other reporters. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thanks, Lane.